In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a simple website with Laytheme. I've just installed Laytheme and now it says I need to create a menu. So I click there. Now I'm inside the backend in Appearance Menus. I create a menu, check Primary Menu and Save. On your website, your menu is now in the top right corner. Let's go to Projects and first just trash the sample project and create a new project. I enter a title and I set the project thumbnail which is the preview image of the project. This is the Gridder. That's the layout tool of Latheme. This button adds a new row. Here is the column count. The column gutter is the space between columns. Row gutter is the space between rows. And frame is the space around your layout. Let's add images. While I'm adding images, I can resize them with the plus and minus keys. I can drag the corners of an image to resize it. I can move the image around. And when I select an image, I can align it vertically. Let's add text. Now I'm adding a YouTube video. The arrow button moves the row down. The X button deletes a row. I publish the project and view it. When we look at our front page, you will see that it's empty. This is because our front page is by default the category called Work. A category is good for having an overview of your projects. We click the project button to add our project thumbnail. Now you see there is the project thumbnail and when we click it we are inside of the project. Let's create a new project by duplicating the old one. We give the project a new title. Please make sure to update the link. We hit edit, delete the name and click OK. This way the link updates automatically. We choose a new project thumbnail. If you want to edit an image, you can select it and click Edit and replace it. You can also double click an image to edit it. Let's add the project thumbnail to the category Work. Now on the front page, you see that's our new project thumbnail. Let's create a new category called Fashion. We go to Categories, type in a name and add it. I'm quickly creating a project.
Here I choose fashion as the category for this project. Now in categories fashion, I'm inserting the project thumbnail of our fashion project. In order to access this category from our website, we need to add it to the menu. Let me just delete these menu points that we don't need. I'm adding the fashion category link to the menu and I save the menu. Now the menu is updated. Next up we're going to add an about page. In pages I'm going to trash the sample page and add a new page. Pages are a bit like projects but you cannot have project thumbnails with pages. Now we need to add the page to the menu. Here you can see there should be more space above about. There are two ways we can do this. We can just go to about and change the top frame value. But let's imagine we want to have the same top frame value for every page. We can do that in Lay Options, Gritter Defaults. When we set the frame top to 7% and apply the defaults, all of these defaults will be applied to all grids on your website. Here you see, okay, the space top is bigger, it's 7% and it's applied everywhere. Let me tell you about text formats. There is a default text format and this is linked with all texts on your website. I changed the font family and the font size and now when I save this, the font style of your whole website will be adapted. Let's create a new text format called headline. I change the color and font family. Save. And in my About page, I'm going to edit the text, select the headline and apply my format. When I change the headline text format, the style of our headline on the above page will be updated as well. The customizer is another important section in the backend. Here you can style your website. You can, for example, change your site title. Let's make the background color a light gray. And let's hide this white rectangle behind the menu, which is called the menu bar. There are many customization options that you can explore. But one of the most important options is the front page option. Here you can set your front page to a category, page or project. Now you have learned the basics of Latheme. To find out more, please go to documentation on latheme.com.
If you have ideas on how to improve Lay Theme or if you found a bug, please let me know in the forum.